I'm Walter Krebs from Prairie Home Inspection. Thanks for inviting us in. Hi there. I'm Walter Krebs from Prairie Home Inspection. Welcome to this week's episode of Tuesday's Tips, your weekly home inspection tips that are meant to help you on your search for a new home. Today, we're going to look at some basic aspects of the home's electrical system. Now, when I do a home inspection, I look at the home's electrical system in detail. I will test for outlets, lights, and switches for safe function, as well as examine the electrical panel. These are the tests that I would never expect a home shopper to do. There's always a certain amount of danger involved with inspecting an electrical system, so leave that part to me. But there are some tests that you can do that are safe. Just flipping a light switch will tell you that the light switch functions and the light on the circuit works as well. And that all the light bulbs work and it is an incandescent type of fixture. I can watch the fixture for a few seconds to see that the amount of light is steady and that it operates as it should. There are multiple types of fixtures and various types of bulbs. You should know their basic operation if you're going to be doing any testing. This light fixture illuminates the stairwell. And for safety reasons, it must be on a circuit that has three-way switches. This means that a switch at the top of the stairs and a switch at the bottom of the stairs operates the same fixture. I would suggest that you try both switches. This is an important safety feature and a good indication of whether the home was wired correctly. Now let's talk about electrical outlets. Your examination of outlets will be mostly visual. As you pass through a room, see how many outlets there are. Are there multiple extension cords with many devices plugged into them? This could be an indication that the number of outlets is inadequate for the current homeowner's needs and perhaps inadequate for your needs. One other thing that you could do is test the GFCI outlets. You can push the test button to see if it trips. A ground fault circuit interrupter is meant to cut out if it detects an unsafe grounding situation, meaning you're using the electric hair dryer over a sink full of water and you drop the dryer into the water. I think it's good to know if the GFCI is working and that it will save your life. And don't forget to reset the outlet. You don't want to leave the homeowner in the dark. Well. That's the end of today's home inspection tip, but I'll be back next week for another of Prairie Home Inspection's Tuesday's Tips. I'm Walter Krebs saying, see you later. That's the end of this week's home inspection tip, but I will be back next week with another of Prairie Home Inspections. <laughs> Thank you, Ginger. We need more cats. Thank you. No fighting.